Out of all the countries we went to this year in 2018, what were your top three? A lot of people are wondering about is what are our plans for 2019? Happy, Happy New, New Year, Year, everybody. Hope you had an amazing Christmas and a fantastic start to 2019. We thought we'd start with a Q&A as our very first video before we head off to our brand new country with a new series starting this week. But we asked you guys some questions on Instagram and YouTube and you sent so many amazing questions. We just did know what to pick there were so many so thank you so much for sending them through all right first question is what was your best moment of 2018 wow can i start with this yes yeah, you can okay. go first so i definitely think one of the most like amazing moments that made me very emotional was when we hit a hundred thousand oh my god that's so weird that doesn't look real what? oh my goodness guys we've just woken up that's crazy it's because i've already had two we <gasps> <You> did it <laughs> <laughs> I feel all shaky. It's so weird. <laughs> I'm so lame. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much, everybody. I think I feel like extra emotional over this one because it went so quick from 100 to 200. I can't believe it. And we just realized we haven't had any time to thank you guys. Like, thank you so much for your support this year. We didn't think we were even going to hit that number this year. So it's it kind of crazy. <laughs> where our channel has become. So thank you so much. There was something in the mail for us when we got home and we were really excited to open it. So if you didn't know, if you're on YouTube and you hit 100,000 subscribers, YouTube sends you out kind of like this little plaque or like award to celebrate. And um, it was like really surreal getting to see one in person and like seeing our name on it. That was really cool. Oh. <laughs> this is a very, very exciting package that just come in the post. We have got a little package <laughs> from YouTube. You do the honors. Oh. <laughs> Wait, how are they gonna see? I feel like I'm gonna have to do this and then you can open it. <laughs> you can open it with us, guys. Alrighty. Oh wow, there's a little letter. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. A letter from YouTube. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. We'll have to get it out. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. They spelled it right. That's I was like, are they gonna spell it wrong? Wait, what does the letter say? Wow. <gasps> wow. That's it looks so different than when like I've seen other people unbox it. It's so weird to have like <laughs> seeing it in real life. What? What's oh, it say? That's, that's heavy. Oh, it's it got said, like a little mirror. It says, you've just done something that very few YouTube creators accomplish. You had an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. They've done like such a nice job on it as well. Now we just need like a home to hang this in. <laughs> <laughs> that's so crazy to think that that's like ours. I know. It doesn't even look real. Like it's weird sitting down to do this and then four years ago when we- It's also weird like think all over the years of watching people getting these. Yeah. And then you're like, I can't believe we have one. It's yeah, I so know. weird. It doesn't seem real. So what's your moment of 2018? I think my, like the most special moment of the year, I think it's when we first saw the pyramids. That is so true. Yeah. I've never been so like emotional seeing something for the first time on our travels. And we weren't even at the pyramids. We were actually at our hotel overlooking on the balcony. And I saw this tiny little triangle off into the distance. And I realized it was the pyramids. It was like a really special moment. I won't forget it. Yeah. <laughs> Look what's over there. Dear. <gasps> oh my God, it's the pyramids. Oh my God, I'm going to cry. Well, we can actually see them from our room. Oh my God, I actually feel really emotional. <laughs> all right next question okay out of all the countries we went to this year in 2018 what were your top three that i already know hard. our number one okay our number one is definitely turkey, turkey. Yes. that was like an amazing experience we absolutely loved it it's like it has everything it has amazing culture amazing food really diverse scenery absolutely loved it number two Probably Egypt. I think so, Egypt. Definitely. It honestly was a very close, like, the, them two was hard to yeah, decide. Both of those trips are amazing. And I reckon a third is Iceland. Definitely. Yeah. Like, that was on the top of our bucket list for years and years, and it exceeded expectations. It is so beautiful. So, like, the natural beauty is amazing. So and there's a reason why when you go on Instagram, every photo is from Iceland. <laughs> yeah. Because it's so photogenic, and it's... Like, I want to go back. I mm. feel like I need to see more of Iceland. So this is probably more for you because you edit all the videos. Mm -hmm. But they said, what video were you most proud of or your favorite video of the year? Uh, it's so bad to go back to it. But definitely, 
our Cappadocia video in Turkey. I think I love the way that I edited it. I think I just got access to a brand new music library and you guys keep saying how much you love the music. So it's definitely the best decision I've ever done. And there was just so much that went on in that video and the experience we had. And it was like a it really could... cool few days as well. Yeah, and you so could just see us being so excited at Cappadocia. Yeah. So all of that, really fun to edit. I think it took me like 12 hours to edit that video and it's our channel trailer. If it ever changes from the channel trailer, you know I've got a new favorite. And then I feel like for me, seeing as I don't edit the videos, it's more of my favorite like feeling feeling video of the year. And that's probably when we flew all the way to Melbourne to surprise my brother and my parents in Melbourne. I think that's going to be like a nice looking back video. You yes. Know? And also yeah. it was so much fun to film, like us Chasing running the down the yeah. That wasn't, none of that was staged. That was literally us just like keeping the camera rolling. <laughs> Actually, I would be interested in knowing what your guys' favorite video of ours oh, yeah. was for 2018. Like what's one that was kind like of stuck with you one. or maybe inspired <laughs> you? Let us know below because I'm super interested. All right, what is one word for 2018? I definitely think like Thankfulness? Yeah, yeah, thankful. Yeah, thankful. Thankfulness is that the 2018 so much changed for us just like as people as like on YouTube mm. and we're so thankful that every time we tell someone who doesn't know what we do and we just sit back and be like, wow, yeah, what we do as a job, I can't believe we're doing this like four years later mm. and so thankful we can still do it thanks to your support, thanks to our friends and family helping us. There's so many moving cogs that if it wasn't for all the support that we had both in person and online, we wouldn't still be here four years later. I mean, mm. we're about to come into our fifth year on yeah, YouTube. Fifth, fifth year of making YouTube videos. And I guess this year, it was the year that our channel really changed and we started really pushing on making these like travel series. I feel like we kind of, we now get to create our own kind of travel TV show on YouTube, which is so cool. And we really like, mm. Are making much more better produced and put together video series which is amazing and you can tell that people are enjoying it because again with a thankful thing our numbers have grown exponentially over the year so yeah thank you guys so much 2018 has been a pretty good year amazing year yeah <laughs> Which countries did we miss out on visiting in 2018? So some countries we really wanted to do and we still have missed out on them. Yeah. And I feel like there are two like areas in the world that are on our list every year. Every year. Like ever since we started flying the nest and we still haven't done them. One is the Nordic countries. Yes. Yeah. Because when we did this <laughs> Q&A last year, what did you guys want to visit in 2018? It was the Nordic countries. We country. keep missing out on them, but they're going to happen. Yeah. Maybe in 2019, we hope. It's I know, on the list. I bet you like a lot of people watch these videos kind of be like, what's on your bucket list for 2019? Expect us to go to those places. I know we just keep not going. So this year, <laughs> Nordic, Nordic countries. countries. <laughs> and another one that has always been on our list and it's still we never do it is Antarctica. And I feel like that's because it's kind of hard to get there. There's only a small amount of time where you can actually go yeah. and it's pretty pricey as well. Yes. So trying to work out like a way to get there. But I feel like creating a travel series on how to travel Antarctica or trying to find like a really good company that takes people out there that's yes. maybe not so expensive. Yes, because um, I don't think you're backpacking Antarctica. What I if I Google like it? It's like $50,000 and I, I bet you there's a cheaper way. Wow. I know, I bet you there's a cheaper way. So I really need to like look into it. But yeah, doing a travel series in Antarctica would yes. be really cool. But those are like our two places that we missed in 2018 are on the list of 2019. And hopefully when we're doing this hopefully... Q&A in one year's time, we're like, we did it. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <laughs> All right, this is like a question we get a lot and it's nothing to do with really 2018. But the mm -hmm. question was, how do you balance your time traveling, enjoying the experience whilst vlogging, taking pictures and uploading Instagram stories all while traveling that was basically tying into 2018 that was like one of my goals for 2018 was to not let social media kind of like ruin your travel experience because it's funny a lot of people think that vlogging could affect yes. travel yes yeah, so many people think like you're always constantly wanting to go out there and film like do you not enjoy travel like is this work to you but it's like the opposite. opposite it enhances travel even like I know we're vlogging to a YouTube channel to like people who watch an audience but even if you're just vlogging for your home family memories it enhances it because there's so many times when we're sitting down in a hotel room and you're just kind of vegging up but you're like no let's get up let's go mm -hmm. see more we also love to get up for sunrises so and it like forces us to get up for sunrises us. because 
because we're so tired, but then you go, oh, we really should go get that time lapse. We go out there and then we get to watch this amazing sunrise that we never would have done if we weren't wanting to capture the country or capture the moments. Yes. But another thing is when we when we do vlog, we really try and vlog in the moment. We try not stage too many things, so it's like it's not really affecting our travels because we're basically just filming the moment. And like filming the our moment. reactions, and then yeah. there's you know we do kind of have those talking scenes to fill in more information. But if you look at our vlogs, and I think it's what's like what makes our vlog a bit different is we have so many moments. Yeah, we try and not let moments get affected by filming one thing that i do think that a lot of people they allow it to control their travels or affect their travels or not be able to live in the moment is mobile phones mm. like like people capturing things for instagram story and then sitting there and putting it on their story and worrying about getting the perfect in instagram photo mm. so they're at a place for 30 minutes trying to get a photo and not even enjoying the moment and that's something that i did not want to happen in 2018 so i basically would capture a few things on my phone for story not post it there like maybe grab a couple of shots and then I'll do it back at the room that night when we're not traveling. For Instagram, I literally was like, let's take a photo. We took about five or ten. Done. Whatever we took, that's the photo we're going to use. I don't mm. want it to like ruin our travels. Mm -hmm. And um, even like when people go out for dinner and they're all on their phone, they're yeah. not even like enjoying the moment and enjoying life as it is. But I don't know. That's like, it's probably a tangent, but I really feel like mobile phones and social media is like really affecting one-on-one -on -one moments and stuff like that. But um. Yeah, definitely vlogging does not affect travel. It's people Completely stuck on their opposite. phone and yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um yeah. If you could eat only one nationality if you could nationality. if you could eat only one nationality's food yep. forever, yep. what would it be? Mine's uh, Japanese food. Japanese I food is so love good. Japanese food. It is my favorite. And what's yours? I know, right? Because every time we go, like, especially around Christmas, when we're at the shops doing Christmas shopping, we'd have sushi. sushi in our hands. But it's it's different it's, in Japan, it's though. It's more it's more than so just sushi. Good in Japan, but yeah, ramen. But anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like mine would be Greek food because there's oh. so much variety in Greece, like, and they're so healthy in Greece as well. It's like, like that Mediterranean diet. Like when we were there earlier this year, we had a new meal every single day. So and it was, it was like all lunch, Greek dinner, food. lunch, dinner, lunch, yeah. dinner, and it was like wow. Greek food is good, but also, what's a nationality's food that you guys could just... Which nationality do you want to eat? Because <laughs> food is so good. <laughs> food is good. If you could give your past selves one travel advice for the first year of traveling, what would it be? Wow. So, if you're new to the channel, we, we've been basically almost traveling full-time for four years now. And in our first year of travel, we weren't the best travelers, and I nope. feel like... One thing that I'll give my old self advice for when I first started traveling was to do research. We would mm -hmm. get to countries, barely have looked things up and not really know what to do or what to see and kind of work it out as we're there. But I've realized if you do a little bit of research before you go, you actually do enjoy the place more. I thought it would, I wasn't researching before because I thought it would ruin the, the it surprise. Was like that, I think it was that whole vibe that everyone was like, yeah, don't Live go in the side. Moment. And just yeah, and then we're like, go there and find the road less traveled. And it's like, but yeah. then we would do it and we just missed so much. So I definitely think do some sort of research before you go to a place. I'm and sure. especially, well, going off the back of that is I've definitely had a bigger appreciation for food in just in the last oh, year. Yeah. And you can even see that on like our channel. Like we have now become addicted to just trying the local food. I think before we were like, we're not big, we were never big foodies. Yes. And even like, I was just looking back and on our first year we went to Paris and we literally went to Subway for lunch. Yeah, we were not professional travelers at all. <laughs> but it was more like we weren't enjoying the food. And then I think once we started like opening up a little bit more and trying different foods, we were like, oh, I really like trying like foods from different places and opening up our palate and stuff. So that was something definitely I would recommend doing is uh, making sure you try local food when you're there. It, in, it enhances your trip so much more. What is something you have learnt from your travels this year? I think the biggest thing we learnt this year was patience. There was like quite a few things that went wrong this year and this was one of the first times where we were like, you know what, we're not gonna like let this affect our travel and affect our experience in that country. Mm -hmm. So some things happened where we went to Iceland, we lost all our luggage and so for a whole week, we wore the same clothes every single day. We didn't have any of our stuff. Like, you know, we had to buy a couple of toiletries while we were there and we didn't let it ruin our moment and we still loved that trip so much. And I made feel like- Made it to our top three. Yeah, made it to our top three And it could have easily been bottom three because, I mean, it 
it's so hard if you lose your luggage and especially if you've gone in your, your one or two big holidays of the year and you've probably gone to Kathmandu you've bought some nice yeah, luggage you bought some, some you know some cute outfits and stuff and then that can enhance your trip which is perfectly fine and then you get there and you lose it all totally understand because misery does love company like you want to feel sad because it kind of feels good sometimes you're just like I'm just gonna be grumpy but <laughs> honestly the biggest thing we learned was definitely just switching that around because mm. we were just like who cares Let's just go buy some stuff. You had your yellow rain jacket, your yellow it jacket that for I... the entire time. Yeah, and everyone ended up <laughs> loving that jacket. I didn't expect that. And then like we let it that roll on for the year. So we were stuck in Turkey because we didn't the have... trip after Iceland. It yeah, was the like... straight trip after. We didn't have um, the proper visa. We were stuck in the airport for five hours. Again, didn't let it ruin our Anything. trip. So patience. That is yeah. something we learned this year. Things will go wrong in travel and just let it happen. Like you can just fix just it deal and with just it. deal with it because that is your holiday like you don't want to be looking back on your holiday and be like oh it's grumpy upset just turn it around and like biggest lesson we learned okay this is a good question have you ever wondered what your life would be like if you didn't take that leap of faith of quitting your day job and start traveling every single day so before we started flying the nest I was actually a primary school teacher and yeah. Stephen was working in marketing we were both first year out of uni yeah really loved travel so then we saved and we left and wanted to create this YouTube channel where we shared the world with everyone and shared how to travel. And Best that's what subway we did. spots in Paris, that was the Yeah, <laughs> and um, that's what we did. And over the years, you know, there was all these moments where we were like, is this gonna fail? Is this gonna work? And then it took four years, but it's finally working out. Yeah. And we can say that YouTube and this channel and travel is now our job. Yes. And it's always weird to look back and think, what if we, cause we were really nervous to do it. Yes. Like we'd literally just got our dream jobs of teaching and marketing. Mm -hmm. like. We literally got out of uni. We studied and got for our four job. years to get this job. Yeah. And we quit and we that like job. We quit it. And we were like, is this the right idea? Like, thing people around us were saying, oh, I'm not too sure if you should do this. Yeah. And um, it's funny looking back on that and thinking, if we had listened to those people or gone, oh, like, should we stay comfortable or should we just have a go and just see what happens? And I'm so glad we did that because it really does show that if you have a passion and even if you're nervous, you should just go for it because you do only live once. And you can always go back. I could always go back to teaching if it didn't work out. Yes. So I um, always go back to marketing if that didn't work out. But, but yes, I'm really glad. We and it's never did. too late. Like when we were starting our YouTube channel, people were like, there are YouTube travel vloggers out there. What are you doing? Like mm. the, the industry is saturated. I mean, if we didn't do that four years ago, we wouldn't be doing this Q&A right now, mm -hmm. which is crazy. So that's kind of cool to think about. But yeah. Alrighty, and the final question, which I think a lot of people are wondering about is what are our plans for 2019? Yes. So, Nordic countries would be great. Yeah, Nordic, yeah that would <laughs> be great. Not on the plans, but we'd love to go there. But our basic like idea for 2019, of course, we want to create a bunch of new travel series for you guys. And we are wanting to make sure that we try and get like a mix of places this yes. year. So we want to go to a couple of unique places that a lot of you may not have heard of before or even thought about traveling to. Yes. We want to go to places that you guys really want us to go to. So whenever you guys comment saying, I want you to go to that country, we are always reading it. And there are a couple of countries in that list that always pop up. And we're making sure they happen in 2019 so stay tuned for that yes and we are wanting to do a couple more trips with our friends and family yes. this year which would be really nice we're about to go on a brand new trip to we're going to Sri Lanka to Sri Lanka <laughs> I asked on Instagram I told you all that we are off on a new trip to Asia and I had so many guesses maybe like 200 people guessed that's like crazy. where to go and only five people said Sri Lanka Yes. So I feel like this could be under the realm of like unique places that not many people think about. So we're really excited for that. So I hope you're excited. And, and that series um, starts like this week. Yeah. We're like yeah. literally, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, that is what's to come in 2019. A lot of new series. And um, if there's anywhere you want us to go, make sure you leave them in the comments below. Yes. And I'm really excited for this year. We have a lot of dreams and goals and aspirations for 2019 that I'm excited to try and achieve. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks again. We for your support every day, every single day. Thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you have a wonderful 2019 yes. as well. Thank you guys. We will see you in Sri Lanka on the next one. Bye. Bye.